Well, Ahmed is what you would call a, uh, he's, he's streetwise, you would call it, you know, he's, he's, um, he's a man who has done what he had, had to do to protect his family and to, and to make a living. And then, uh, so when we meet him, he's, he's not your average translator. He's, he knows stuff and he's done stuff. Uh, and he's, uh, he's this quiet, strong type. Obviously, you, you, you look into what it means to be a, a translator, how, the, how their daily life works, what the function is, what the kind of training they get, uh, military training and all that. So yeah, we did all that and also practiced the, uh, uh, the Dari dialects that, he, that we were working on on this film. Well, the, the, the choice was made that they speak Dari. They speak Pashto and Dari in Afghanistan. So I had to learn the Dari, uh, which is a language that I didn't speak. So it was, I, I had a, I, 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 we found a, uh, a coach and, um, and she was very good. And it just, it just it's, it's a process. When you work in a foreign language, it's just a, a process of repetition. I think the interesting thing about the relationship between John and Ahmed is, you know, it's more of a, it's a, it's a relationship out of necessity, really, more than a friendship or anything else. So you have these two guys where, you know, uh, John is kind of stuck with Ahmed, like, I need you, you are my translator in this country, but do I trust you? Probably not. I mean, who are you? Um, and the same, the other way around is Ahmed looking at John and say, yeah, you're in charge and I'll do what you say, sir, but do I trust you to have, to know that you, you know what you're doing? No, of course not. So, I, you know, it's, it was very interesting to play with that dynamic instead of doing this traditional, ah, you're, you know, I like you, you like me, we're best buddies, I'm going to save your life, then you save my life. This is much more interesting, I think. Um, that, that you, have, you have to find a way to work together. And there's always this element of mistrust or distrust in, in each other. And, and then let the relationship grow from the, from the circumstances that you, that you are faced. And then at the end of the day, you are the man you are. And hopefully the film will reveal who these guys are and, and why they end up making the choices that they do. My experience in meeting Guy Ritchie was um, obviously after I did an, an, a self tape, an audition. Then I was told that he wanted to have a, a meeting. This was during the, as the COVID pandemic, so it was uh, in a Zoom call. So basically, I was sitting uh, home in my living room, my kitchen, and uh, uh, and having a, <laughs> a Zoom call with uh, Mr. Guy Ritchie which is a bit surreal, you know, if you've watched all his films, it's, he's a legend. And so, but yeah, but then the conversation just started and he's a, he's a very interesting man. And I think it was one of the most, um, you know, it was one of the most interesting conversations I've had with a director before you start a film because he's very intellectual, he's very clever. And uh, um, we just, you know, you, you talk about the film, then you go into politics and then you go back to film and then you talk about, some some a bit of philosophy and then you go back into the film and then you we talked about some film references and then we talk about the characters and it, it was just a conversation that was supposed to be you know i suppose five ten minutes but we we talked for like 45 minutes um and it just it felt good to 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 speak to him i think as an actor working with 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 guy you have it, it, it shouldn't be your first dance, you know, because you, 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 be, you have to be comfortable in what you're doing and you have to be confident in what you're doing and you have to be able to adjust, you know, adapt and adjust because that, that's the way he works. You know, I don't think I've said one line as written in the script. Um, everything changes on the day, you know, and when I say on the day, it's not a couple of hours, it's like, on the day, a camera rolling and say this instead or say this. And it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a living organism, the film. Uh, and that's just how he works. And I think your job 
uh, as an actor is to say, okay, so this is how we're dancing and you, and you adapt. Jake needs no introduction. I mean, he, he did Jarhead like what, 20 years ago. So he knows what he's doing and he's his, uh, um, from an actor's perspective or from an audience perspective, his performances are always um, uh, very, very uh, captivating and interesting. And the choices he made are, he makes are, are always uh, wonderful to watch. And I think uh, people are gonna enjoy his performance and this one as well, it's been it's been uh, you know a pleasure watching him uh, close and working with him, and um, he's a very nice guy. So so um, and, and yeah, I think he's gonna be happy with with his performance as well when he sees it. He does have a family, and 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 I think that's and I and I love that that he has a family, and that's uh, I feel very important that um, that both guys, both men, have families that um, that drives them, and that's his motivation. And I think it's nice to have a break from all the, you know, the fighting scenes and everything else that's going on. That you have a, something to um, just a normal situation in a household where you have a situation between a husband and a wife and a baby, and that. Uh, because we can all relate to that, um, and uh, it's she's Fariba does uh, you know she has this natural um, uh, presence and 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 beauty and um, and she's a she was a very good actress so she did a great job. I like the fact that you know a film should first and foremost be entertaining. Entertaining, you know, that people should watch it and, and hopefully eat some popcorn and, and have a laugh and be excited. And uh, but at the same time, I like the fact that when as a byproduct that a film can show the different people from different cultures who might may look apart and who may not even understand each other in the same situation that they're thrown in, at the end of the day, have the same desires and ambitions and needs which are very simple. He, people just want a family and they want to be able to keep their family safe and they want to give themselves and their children opportunities. I think that is what binds us all.